Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Pouring by Kathleen Miller. How is everybody doing today? If you're new to our channel, welcome. And if you're an oldie but goodie, welcome. We're gonna have a little bit of fun here today. I've had such an overwhelming response on this stained glass effect that I'm going to do another one. However, I'm going to incorporate and show you a few tips and tricks what you can do. And um, I have some really exciting news. A couple of my subscribers have asked me to incorporate some more designs of my boots with the stained glass effect and a couple other of the creations. So Phil and I sat there yesterday like for about five hours doing a whole bunch of new ones. And we now have sneakers as well in our Etsy shop with the boots. So head on over there and take a little look. But I'm gonna show you the boots that I have and I wear. And this is just one style that I have. They're so vibrant and funky, it's really cool. Yeah, it just doesn't do justice in the Etsy shop. When I, when I received those, I said to Phil, oh my God, look at the colors, how vibrant the colors are. And they are true to size. However, they do not come in a size eight. And we have no clue why. So my granddaughter takes a size eight and she can fit her foot into my size seven and a half. However, her toes were here. So uh, she ordered the eight and a half and they're, they're fine. They're perfect for her. If you need to, just put on a little bit heavier sock. But she said, oh my gosh, Omi, they fit perfect. So head on over to the Etsy shop and look at the new designs of our boots I, and of our sneakers. I think we have 30 to 40 different designs out there. There is a direct link in the description box to get to Kathy's Etsy, Etsy shop. shop. Okay, so I have, actually I have an eight by 10 oval canvas here that I'm going to do uh, the stained glass effect on. And it's the color place from Walmart. There is no silicone, there is no water, there's no glue. It's antique white, parenthesis satin. The colors I'm using today are Amsterdam phalo green. This is Auburn Jean by Primary Elements Color Art. This is Metallic Violet by Artist Loft. This is Cobalt Turquoise, and this is a new Golden Fluid Acrylic by Color Art. They're beautiful. It comes in a set, I believe, of 10 or 12. Head on over there and pick yourself some up. This is Amsterdam Azo Yellow. This is Mahogany and Chambord by Color Art Primary Elements. I mixed the two, uh, prime, uh, the two pigment colors together. This is PBO Iridescent Green Yellow. Ruby Red by Color Art Primary Elements. And that is my DecoArt 24 Karat Gold. So we're going to do the drizzle, swipe, the rack, and the spin -a Those are the four steps to doing a stained glass effect. And Phil can be the commentary because I really get into this. And sometimes Phil, they say Phil talks way too much and they wish he would not talk as much. But he takes over where I leave off because sometimes I just get so engrossed that uh, it goes dead silent. Which maybe you guys like dead silence. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but this is Auburn G. This is one of my all time favorite colors. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, I don't know, purplish grape. Well, the four steps to the stained glass effect are drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin. And of course now Kathy is doing step one, which is the drizzle. And the object of that is to drizzle all the colors all over the canvas without too much of any one color in any one area. All these colors will be in the description box. And they're all actually made with the same recipe. pouring medium. Yeah, the recipe is exactly right. the same for all of them. The pigments, uh, the colors, the fluid, it's all the same. Yeah, Kathy's recipe works just as well with pigments, uh, two paints, paints two, <laughs> two paints, fluid. The, the fluid acrylics, uh, mixtures of those. You don't have to... Prism pores. Yes. So it's a wonderful, easy recipe. It's in recipe video 478. Direct link is in the description box to get to that recipe video. It's so simple. Works wonderfully. Yeah, 
Yeah, so stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to show you a few things that you can do with your uh, stained glass. Stained glass. It's always fun to learn some new things. But I want to thank everybody for just viewing the stained glass. I mean, it's just overwhelming that you all liked it. I'm so happy because it's a beautiful creation and it, it's a fun creation. Well, the strange thing about it is you started doing these several years ago mm -hmm. and then hadn't done one in so, you know, basically a year and a half. And then the last video you did was a stained glass. And uh, as you said, very, very nice um, reception to that. And so you thought it might be a great idea to do another one. Well, yeah, because now I have a few, you know, tricks that I can yes. tell you because we have so many new people that haven't seen this. And uh, I actually was asked by some of them, can you please do another one? We love it. We absolutely love your stained glass. So I said to Phil, really? Well, I guess we better do another one. But yeah, we have a uh, go to the Etsy shop because there's some really cool uh, designs in there now. You are at the stage where you call this what now? This is the mishmash. The mishmash, yes. And it's r really kind of mind boggling that what you get out of starting your creation uh, with this mishmash. type of uh, mishmash, <laughs> absolutely. I want to point out that uh, Kathy has all the different paints just all over the canvas, but she has some of her white base showing through. So you do want a little bit of the white base base showing through uh, in the drizzle. Okay. Now we're gonna, this is my cell activator, which is Oxide Black by Amsterdam and Australian Floetrol. And that's how simple it is. Simply and we're gonna start swiping. And you're using simple old playing cards. Well, these are new playing cards. Well, they're new playing they're cards. They're not old. Yes, but <laughs> I usually have it on a coaster, but my coasters are packed away, everybody. Okay. And look, instantaneously, you're picking up all kinds of different colored cells. That's what you're hoping for with the swipe of the drizzle. Oh, brother. Ta-da! Kathy the queen, huh? I'm <laughs> the queen. Oh, you are so... I'm the queen of the drizzle, the swipe. Oh, yeah. Back, okay. There we go. Oh boy. Doesn't like being conceited, right? Yeah. Little little conceited there, that's hey, hey, I'm an only child. I have to be conceited. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> My mother knew she got the best, so she stopped. Oh, 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 okay, that's the reason, huh? Or she couldn't put up another one of you. And uh, here we have yours. You are the Joker <laughs> Phil. You are a little <laughs> I can't even say it on camera. Uh, <laughs> okay, everybody. No bad comments. <laughs> I'm not treating them bad. No bad comments. This is a joke for the Joker. That's right. When I met Phil, when I was 16, he was a Joker then, and he's still a Joker now at the age of 25. <laughs> oh, don't I wish it was 25. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. How fun we have, Phil. That's right. We do have That's fun. Beautiful, beautiful cells. Multicolored cells. That's what we're looking for. We have a little river here, so I'm going to uh, cover that up. The river, I do not like rivers. The but... river is a space between two swipes that isn't getting any cells. Kathy doesn't like that. We have a little problem on this end, Kathy. Probably spin off. Yeah, that should spin off though, yes. 
Kathy does have a Facebook group called Paint Pouring by Kathy Miller. You can post your own creations, which is really cool. Make comments, ask questions. There's a direct link to become a member of our Facebook group in the description box. Okay, now I have a little bit of a tip for everybody. And um, if you don't want to enhance uh, your stained glass, you can spin it. But because you can go and Google um, on your computer stained glass stencils. And that way you don't have any marks in it and you can incorporate any uh, stencil that you see on your computer and you can download it and you can just like either put it on like this and draw it on whatever you want and then you can resin it and they're beautiful. It'll look just like in churches or wherever you go to see the beautiful stained glass. That's a cool idea. Mm -hmm. It is a really cool idea. I always like to enhance him because I just, that's just me. But um, I actually might try this sometime because I think it would be a lot of fun. Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to enhance, Phil. Okay. Oh, this is, that's exactly what you want after the drizzle and the swipe with the cell activator. Now, okay. Kathy's going to do a little enhancing, which we used to call wrecking. But you don't, you don't want to do a lot of enhancing or wrecking on a stained glass creation because you really want to keep the cells. I think I'm just going to yes. do it down the middle. Yes. You really want to keep those cells okay, without I gotta messing go them here. up. I just got to do it on each side because it's going to go lopsided. All right. Okay, we're going to spin this little puppy and see what we get. By spinning it, you do increase your cells. The size of the cells and the size of the enhancing or wrecking lines. Mm -hmm. And see, I knew we would lose that oh, white. Oh, wow. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. See, by doing that on each end. Yes. This is really pretty. Beautiful. I love this. That. Just like stained glass. That it is, is so it's just beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to show everybody something else that I've done. And I did this a long time ago. And I brought this piece out to show you what I mean by the rivers. These I made as uh, chargers. You gotta have it up more. Okay. These I made as chargers uh, for my dishes, and it makes a beautiful um, placemat underneath your dishes. Phil can tell you I have a set of four of these that I've done. It's beautiful. But these are your rivers, and by not doing anything with your rivers, that's what you get. That's why I always fill in my rivers. Yes. I you, personally don't like that, but it can a enhance. Lot of, yeah, a lot of people like. Uh, rivers yes, on yes. them, but it, it can enhance your piece. You, it's your creation. You can do whatever you want. So I wanted to show you that, and you can even you can do it in smaller woods, anything. Okay. If you want, but this is how you know your dinner plate would look a little bit smaller, and you have they're very very pretty. So that's why I wanted to show you. And if you love got, my creation, I got to go through this again. This the colors. And the enhancing. Here, let me show them the sparkle. So pretty. Okay. Look at the glitz. You have to get closer, I think. No, <laughs> there. Look at the glitz on this. Wow. It, it's beautiful. It's so sparkly. And when you resin this, it is absolutely stunning. Oh, I'm loving these colors, Phil. Yes. Look at that. That is so Go cool. Go down a little bit. Look at that glitz. Look at that. Oh, Albergine. Look mm -hmm. at her glitter. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now you can do your own thing if you want to go through it. 
you want to go through it one more time? No, okay. I'm good. All right, everybody. If you love my creation, give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Uh, there were some tips and tricks that I showed you. I hope you all do this. Go on over and join our Facebook group, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. If you do this, please show us. We'd love to see it. So we'll post so, it to the uh, Facebook group. Correct. So stay healthy, stay safe, everybody, and I'll see you all later, alligators. Bye. Just all those beautiful colors showing up. That's what the drizzle does for you.